सेंटर एंड सो गाइस मैं रेडी हो चुकी हूँ ये मेरी फुल लुक है और जो है बच्चा पार्टी जो है मुझसे पहले नीचे पहुंच चुकी है वो लोग बहुत to welcome all the parents and our students are really very happy for performing to all the students thank you very much for joining us my pleasure मजेदार होंगे शानदार होंगे अब होने जा रहा है ब्लॉग का आगाज उसको पूरा देखने का मिस नहीं करने का जी मैं सो जिस किसी ने अभी तक मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो प्लीज वो मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दें क्योंकि टू के होने में जस्ट ही कुछ ही सब्सक्राइबर्स रह गए और मजे की बात का हम बस फटाफट रेडी हुए हुए हैं जैसे कि आप देख रहे हैं हमने तैयार शहर होकर ब्लॉग स्टार्ट किया क्योंकि हम जा रहे हैं सुबह के स्कूल में जो कि वहाँ पर ज़बरदस्त किस्म का फंक्शन होने वाला है नाना नाना बच्चों ने हम लोग के लिए पेरेंट्स के लिए बहुत अच्छी परफॉर्मेंस रेडी की हुई है तो गाय चले चल के देखते हैं और जल्दी जल्दी से पहले मेरी फुल लुक देखिए गाय गाय से देखिए दिस इज माय आउट फिट मैंने लिया था आइडिया से वो सच में बहुत अच्छा था ओ माय गॉड सुभान अपनी फुल लुक तो दिखाए आज तो भाई सुभान के हाइट रखी है ठीक ना ये तो पहले से रेडी हुए हुए रेडी हो चुकी है सनाई भी रेडी हो चुकी है और सुबह तो है ही रेडी क्योंकि है ही इनका फंक्शन भाई हेलो गाइस हमें मेरे पास सुबह रखी कर हमें ब्लॉगिंग गाइस ये मेरे साथ है सेलफोन जो था ना सुबह के पास से अब जाके मेरे पास आया और बच्चों का जो है परफॉर्मेंस कभी भी स्टार्ट होने वाली है जो बस चल चलते हैं I am super excited to welcome all the parents and our students are really very happy for performing to all the students. Thank you very much for joining us. कैसी हुई तुम लोग की परफॉर्मेंस बहुत अच्छी रही चलो भाई बेस्ट ऑफ लाइक ग्रेट फोर ना ग्रेट फोर ग्रेट फोर चलो भाई बाय बाय अल्लाह हाफिज the morning and it was grade 4 with which we began and now the show is going to be for grade 5 and then after grade 5 there would be the third show for grade 6 students so a very exciting day for all of us when darkness wins the world with its cloak and doubt and fear within you invoke remember my friend you possess a light a flame that burns to the darkest night embrace the challenges that come your way for the shape and mold you day by day 
each obstacle faced, each mountain climbed. Strengthens your spirit, leaving no room for decline. Dream big, my friend. Let your heart take a flight. For the impossible is within your sight. Believe in yourself. Trust in your voice. You have the power to make a choice. Through persistence and unwavering will, you'll conquer mountains and stand tall still. With passion as you compass and courage as you guide, there's no limit to what you can achieve with purpose by your side. So rise and shine. Let your spirit be seen. You are a masterpiece, a radiant being. Embrace your power. Let your dreams take flight. For you are destined to shine with all your might. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most gracious, I, on my behalf of I deep, want to pay morning greetings to all our esteemed dignitaries, respected teachers, and of course, our lively audience. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to everyone. I am Muhammad Awan and we are going to host this grand show. I am chilled to announce the most awaited event, Inspiring Eagles Morning. The theme for class 5 is Talent Extravaganza, which is an incredible platform for our students to express themselves, discover their passions and showcase their extraordinary skills. Whether you have a hidden talent for singing, dancing, acting, playing an instrument, or any other remarkable ability, this wonderful event invites all of our students to step into the spotlight and enthrill the audience. Our students' participation in this humongous event is not only an opportunity to display their talents, but it also gives them a chance to build confidence, foster teamwork, and create lasting memories. To begin this mega show with the beautiful verses of the Holy Quran, I would like to call Hamza Sajid for the recitation and Mariam Shahzad and Miriam Talpur for the translation. <laughs> In the name of Allah, most beneficent, most merciful, we have indeed revealed this message in the night of power. And what the night of power is? The night of power is better than a thousand months therein come down the angels and the spirit until the rise of the morn. Tarjuma, Beshak ham ne is Quran ko shabe kadar mina dal kya aur aapko kya malum shabe kadar kya hai? Shabe kadar hazar mahinno se bhehtar hai. Ye raat sarasat salamat ye tuluwe fajar tak. Salakallahul Azim. Can we all say Subhanallah aloud? Subhanallah. School songs are sung to foster a sense of pride, unity and belonging among school, staff and alumni. We often hear and sing school songs on different occasions like events, annual functions and sport festivals. School festivals not only serve as a symbol of the school's identity but also convey messages of teamwork, perseverance or other qualities that the school aims to instill in its students. We have an enthusiastic choir of singers who want to express their love and affection for their dear school, FPS, and they demonstrate what skills and knowledge as FP Sonians did develop here. Let's welcome, let's welcome our young energetic singers with a really huge round of applause.
Amiga MV4. Inspiration plays a crucial role in unblocking creativity, increasing productivity, and extending happiness. People who get inspiration from others are more engaged, confident, and motivated to solve their problems and create new things. Many people find inspiration in the beauty and wonder of the natural world. Art, music, literature, and other forms of creative expressions can be a rich source for inspiration. A sense of inspiration also comes from, from historical figures, just like our national heroes, because they provide us guidance and motivation. Their stories, achievement, and values are great inspiration for us to strive for greatness. I would like to invite some students on stage who will let us know what personalities have inspired them. Please give a big round of applause for Inspired Eagles. From grade 5A, today I will be sharing my thoughts about my inspiration with you all. My inspiration is none other than my mother. Her name is Amrita. She is a pillar of strength, my mom, my inspiration. In her love and guidance, I find my inspiration. She is the reason I am for the stars. My mom, my inspiration. A role model and a guiding light. My mom is my inspiration. I am who I am today because of the love and wisdom of my mom. My greatest inspiration. I love you mom. Thank you. Good morning everyone. I am Laura from grade 5C. Today I am honored to share with you the profound impact one person who has had on shaping me, who I am. My source of inspiration is my father, Mr. Lachman Das Ishrani. His love and encouragement fuel my determination to achieve my dreams. As I move forward, I carry his teaching in my heart. Thank you, Dad, for being in my life. You are a super, super dad. I love you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum everyone, I am Raza Abbas from Grade 5C and I am here to share my inspiration with you all. My inspiration is El Splash because he created a horror game called Doors in 2022 where you had to cross 100 doors to win the game and that's why I want to become a game developer and want to earn fame in the world of games. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum everyone, I am Ahmed Baksh from Grade 5C. Today, I am here to share my thoughts about my inspiration with you all. My inspiration is one of the most brilliant and influential scientists in history, Albert Einstein. As most of us are aware of it, that he is the father of modern physics who reshaped our understanding of the universe with his groundbreaking theories. Albert Einstein's life and work continue to inspire generations of scientists thinkers and dreamers and I really want to be a scientist like him. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I am I am Sabah Hassan from grade 5C. Today I am here to share my inspiration with you all. My inspiration is Shaheen Shah Afridi, a rising star in the cricketing world. With a left hand pace and leaves batsman unfurled. He not only inspired me but many others too. From the lush green fields to the cricketing stage, Afidi's journey is an inspiring page for the young generation and cricket lovers. In the world of cricket, he wears a prestigious crown. He is a role model for aspiring bowlers you see. Shaheen Shah Afridi, the epitome of Lee, a source of inspiration for you and I. Thank you. I must acknowledge the, the fact that inspiration shared by inspiring eagles were very enlightening. They all deserve a big applause from you all. It's a source of great strength. Our next performance, which varies from other performance, is an excellent example of this thing. Mine is a form of selling performance art that involves acting or communicating using only movement, gesture, and facial expressions. Mimes allow participants to use their bodies to convey emotions, tell stories and create visual illusions without use of words or props. I want you, I want you all to welcome our vigorous participants with cheers and applause.
लिए जब भी बात करनी हो तो तस्बीहत इस्तारात मुहावरात और जरबुल मिसाल से आरस्ता पैरास्ता उर्दू जबान इस्तेमाल किया करो एक बार दौरान तदरीस से उस्ताद साहब हुक्का पी रहे थे उन्होंने जो जोर से हुक्का गड़गड़ाया तो अचानक चिल्लम से एक चिंगारी उड़ी और उस्ताद जी की पगड़ी पर जा पड़ी एक शागिद इजाज़त लेकर उठ खड़ा हुआ और बड़े अदब से गोया हुआ हजूरे वाला ये बंदा नाचीस हकीर फकीर पुर तकसीर एक रू फरसा हकीकत हजूर के गोश गुजार करने की जसारत कर रहा है वो ये के आप लगभग निस घंटे से हक्के हुक्का नौशी अदा फरमा रहे हैं चंद सानिया कबल एक शरारती आतशी पतंगा आपकी चिल्लम से बुलंद होकर चंद लम्हे हवा में साकित रहा और फिर आपकी दस्तार फजीलत पर बड़ा जुमान हो गया अगर इस फितने की बर वक्त और फैल फोर्सर को भी ना की गई तो हजूर वाला की जान को शदीद खतरा लाक हो सकते हैं तो सबसे बड़ी गलती है जो हम करते हैं वो ये होती है कि हम समझने के लिए नहीं बल्कि जवाब देने के लिए सुनते हैं That's the beauty of Urdu language. Life is not a bed of roses. In fact, life is a long journey, filled with ups and downs, challenges and obstacles. It's like a roller coaster that tests our strength, resilience, and character. Just like a rose, life is adorned with thorns that prick us when we least expect it. In life, we exper- experience. Failure and disappointment. We face setbacks and encounter moments of debate. But these things help us discover our true potential and the strength that lies within us. Honoring our potential and skills, we learn about valuable lessons, grow as individuals, and become the best version of ourselves. We call our vibrant young performers to perform on the song "Believers." Let's welcome them with your cheers and applause. Yes. Topic. 
It plays a crucial role in developing the ability to evaluate arguments, evidence, and logical reasoning. Debating requires participants to uh, articulate their ideas clearly and persuasively. You are now going to witness a heated debate among our talented students about the most discussed topic. Is the advent of artificial intelligence beneficial for humans? Let's appreciate our eloquent presenters for uh, with a huge round of applause. Assalamualaikum to everyone. This is Hania Khwaja. Today we have all gathered to discuss a topic that is talk of the town. Is the advent of artificial intelligence good for human society or not? We believe that artificial intelligence is a fundamental and transformational technology that will provide compelling and helpful benefits to people and society through its capacity to assist, complement, empower and inspire people in almost every field of the human and your. In other words, it will revolutionize the world and solve all our problems. While others fear that it may have a negative impact on human life, the truth is that AI is affecting our lives in both positive and negative ways. In this debate, we are going to explore the impacts of AI on humanity, discussing the benefits and drawbacks to help everyone better understand this complex topic. AI cannot AI can automate repetitive and mundane tasks, freeing up human resources to focus more on complex or creative tasks. AI systems can perform tasks and processes much faster and more accurately than humans, leading to increased efficiency and productivity. By automating tasks and processes, AI can help businesses reduce costs associated with labor training and human error. AI has the potential to automate tasks that were previously performed by humans, which can lead to job displacement in certain industries. This can be a concern for individuals whose job may be at risk due to automation. As far as decision making is concerned, AI algorithms can analyze large volumes of data quickly, providing valuable insights for decision making. Implementing AI technology can be expensive, especially for small businesses and organizations with limited resources. AI technologies can help artists, musicians, and writers develop new ideas, explore new artistic techniques, and push the boundaries of traditional creative processes. AI systems lack human emotions and creativity. While they can perform tasks efficiently and accurately, they may struggle with tasks that require emotional intelligence or creative thinking. AI plays a crucial role in improving customer experience by personalizing interactions and recommendations based on individual preferences and behaviors. While AI chatbot could provide its customers with fast and accurate information, it may not have been able to deliver the personalized interaction that a human customer receive representative could. Creative work produced by AI may lack the depth, emotional connection and unique perspective that comes from human experience and emotion. AI is perfect when it comes to task accomplishment with the least number of mistakes and it is also time saving. AI can perform tasks more accurately, reduce errors and improve overall accuracy. AI has the potential to transform education by improving the quality of learning, instant feedback and learning tools. We understand the concerns raised by the opposing team, but let us not forget that every technological advancement comes with risks. In conclusion, the power of AI rests in our hands. By embracing AI with caution, we can unlock its immense potential to solve complex problems, advance scientific research, and improve the quality of our lives. In a world where AI technology is advancing at an unprecedented pace, 
we must exercise vigilance and establish strong safeguards. The potential risks associated with AI demands our attention and prompt action. By addressing these concerns head on, we can ensure that AI becomes a force for good rather than a threat to humanity. As leaders of the future, it's our duty to continue this debate and actively shape the future of AI. Let us remember that the path we take will determine whether AI becomes a power of bacon or a dormant threat. The choice is ours. Thank you. All the debate participants for sharing pros and cons of artificial intelligence. Can we all cheer up for them? Everyone is blessed with something special. All we need to do is to explore what's that. Some people can sing well, while others can dance well. If someone knows how to swim, the other knows how to go parsley. Some can play a guitar in a concert, whereas others play a piano in the same concert. It wouldn't be wrong to say, telling is nothing more than a pursued interest. Well, we have now a very special show in which our talented eagles entertain us all by demonstrating their amazing skills. Please put your hands together for a mega star of talent show with your loudest applause.
The fact about having a passion is, when we pursue it with enthusiasm and dedication, the world witnesses it says it ignites inspiration and motivates others to explore their own passion. Now I would like to call a choir of vigorous singers to sing a beautiful song, Dunya Dekhegi. Please welcome our Directed Eagles with your rapturous applause. Automation. AI systems may not always be reliable, leading to a lack of. 
of confidence in their decision making ability. Addressing job secretary, fraud lack of human cause concern is important. The use of AI in education leads to students' dependence many ways. Can we all put our hands together for for them? unless you make it the last chapter of your book. This saying is food for thought for all of us. In order to clear up the misconception about failure, I would like to call Umme Abiha to deliver an enlightening speech on failure is an opportunity. Assalamu alaikum you all. I'm Umme Abiha once again. Today, I'm here to talk to you about something really important. It's about failure. You might think that failure is a bad thing, but actually, it's a fantastic opportunity. As the great inventor Thomas Edison once said, I have not failed, I have found 10,000 ways that won't work. You see, even he faced challenges, but he saw them as steps towards success. You know, when you try something new, like trying to ride a bike, trying to solve a rubrics cube, trying to solve a tricky maths puzzle, it's okay if you don't get it right on the first time. Even the most famous and amazing people, like you and me, face challenges. So now, let me tell you about a few legends who didn't give up when they faced challenges. The great scientist Albert Einstein once said, I'm thankful to those who said no to me. It's because of them I'm doing it all by myself. He didn't let early struggles hold him back and he went to change the world with his ideas. And think of Walt Disney who created magical cartoons and built Disneyland. He got fired from a job because they said he lacked imagination. But he didn't give up and give us wonderful cartoons and theme parks that we all love today. Uh, in the words of Winston Churchill, success isn't final, failure isn't fatal. It is the courage to do what counts. Another thing, if you fail, never give up because F-A-I-L fail means first attempt in learning and is in the end. In fact, E and B and means effort never dies. If you get no as an answer, take next opportunity. Just change your mindset. Thank you. Thank you, Umaya Biha, for delivering a rousing speech. Most of us want to learn the art of public speaking and develop the skill of delivering speeches or presenters effectively. You mean allocution? Yes, I do. Allocation teaches how to recite poems, deliver speech with correct pronunciation, proper gesture, voice, intonation, self-expressions and confidence. I would like to call for a wonderful allocation. Let's welcome them with your rapturous applause. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. My name is Fuzal Zwan. I am from 5D. My poem name is Talent. In mind, a spark of talent gleams. A dance of dream like flowing stream with skillful hand and rich in key. A symphony of gift and seen. From humble roots, a blossom grows in every heart. Potential flows through trials faced and lesson learned. True talent rise and discern the painter's brush, the poet quill, that gifted hand that cheap and fill in every soul. A unique art, a masterpiece, a work of art. Thank you. Can we all put our hands together for our performers? Once a French author said, the sea is an underwater mu museum still waiting its visitors. The sea has always been a source of a mystery. Despite the technology and exploration, there are still many unanswered questions about the sea, its depths and its creatures. The vastness and depths of sea makes it both unique and mysterious and reveals the sea holds many secrets they are yet to be uncovered. 
Now I would like to invite a group of eloquent presenters who will deliver their presentation on the mysteries of the sea. Can we all put our hands together for our presenters? So let's start. Titanic. Titanic was an unsinkable ship, but in 1982 it sank and over close to 1,500 people died. Now the most interesting part, the UFOs. Everybody said that there are no UFOs in the whole uh, universe, but in the Randillian Forest incident in UK they found two UFOs in night consistent and and they found it two nights. And uh, Hikers clever and said it. And then two mountains, the two hikers was uh, fi have go to the mountains to find something in the water, but unfortunately they die and even their body was not found. It. Thank you. I made this model to show you mysterious and learning methods with sound and the. See Blue Ball Julia continue to interview scientists. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Aishirani. I am from Gate 5 Today Today I'm here to tell you about an experience. You know that feeling when you hear a strange noise in the middle of night. Imagine that, but in the middle of a fairy ocean, there are several unexplained noises that have been recorded over the years, with two of the most popular being the Blue and the Julia. These sounds have to have been made by very large objects or possibly teenagers. But most scientists are believing that sounds are large icebergs or scattered or shipwrecks. But what if it's not? Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mohammed Safan Allah and I am from grade 5B. Today I am going to present you some information about the ghost ship CAS 2. The CAS 2 is a 12 meter catamaran that was found drifting 160 km off the northern coast of West Indies on April 18. The CAS 2 was a boat that had sailed in 2007 from Australia. It was manned by three sailors and was mysteriously found drifting with the motor still running, a powered on laptop and a table completely set with no sign of any foul play, oh, except for the missing crew. Coroners have speculated what happened to the men, but nothing has ever been proven. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Ms. Suhan from Gay 5 p and my partner, Mohamedan. Today our topic is Devil Sea. For to never go out on a boat again, look no further than the Devil Sea. It's one of the 12 wild vortices or vortexes of the world, right up there with the Bermuda Triangle. It's a place where planes drop from the sky just like birds and methane deposits causes gas explosions. It's also where US lost over 20 submarines during WWII and ships that are twice as big as the Titanic Go mission. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Yumna Ahmed and I am from grade 5D. My presentation is about the real Atlantis. Like Sebastian said, the human world is a mess. So why not try life under the sea? Some say that the lost underwater city of Atlantis has been discovered right off of the island of Los in Greece. An entire plant town has been found with several buildings, courtyards and so on and so many pieces of poetry. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Aiza Khan and I am from grade 5D. My presentation is about uncharted depths. The vast majority of the world's ocean remains unexplored and unmapped with more than 80% ocean floor yet to be discovered. Countless mysteries lie in these uncharted depths harboring other species and geological formations. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Anna Imran and I am from grade 5D. Today my presentation is about the dangers of the deep. Pressure. The deeper you go, the more pressure you experience. Putting divers and sunbreeds at risk. Cold water. Water temperature drops significantly the deeper you go. Putting, making it difficult for humans to survive without Protection. Marine life. From jellyfish to sharks, the ocean is home to many dangerous creatures that can pose a threat to humans. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. I am Kaya 
Fazi Alman for 5D and I will be presenting about mysteries of sea. Marine life. The sea holds a married of unknown species. Many creatures dwelling in the depths remain undiscovered and some deep sea species are so uniquely adapted to extreme conditions that their existence challenges understanding of life. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Abdul Rehwan and today I am going to tell you about sea monsters. Number one, Kraken. This giant tentacle sea monster has terrorized sailors for centuries. It's Scandinavian folklore. Number two, Caribdis Escilla. In Greek mythology, these two sea monsters were said to lurk on either side of a narrow sea channel and devour any sailor that strayed too close. Number three, Megalodon, the largest shark that ever lived. The Megalodon would grow up to 60 feet long and could weigh as much as 100 tons. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Samza and this is my partner Mohammad Hamza. We will present you a presentation about the cannibal shark. In 2003, scientists decided to tag a 9 foot long wild shark to study the temperature in the ocean. Nearly several months later, the tag recording information was found on shore. When the researchers looked at the tag recording information, they were stunned. About four months after the tag was put on the shark, seemed to dove around 1900 feet. Which suggests it was attacked or eaten by something, but what could eat a great white and even bigger shark? Thank you. In the future, when the AI would drive, so we will guide more mysteries of seas. Thank you. Chacha Chakkan, Empeaz Ali Taj ka Tahleek Kirda, Mashuru Maru, Mazaya Kirdaar hai. جس کو موضوع بنا کر تاز نے مختلف مضامین تحریر کیے جو ان کے اہل کے مختلف سسالوں میں چاہے بھی ہوئے یہ کردار بہت مشہور ہوا چچا چھکر نے دھوون کو کپڑے دیئے بچوں کے لیے ایک ہستا مسکر آتا جانا آپ کے سامنے پیش کریں گے جماعت پنجم کے ہونے ہر طلبہ تو آئیے اس جامے سے لطف اندوز ہوتے ہیں ڈال دو گے سارے گھر میں 
पहले ही मेरा जी अच्छा नहीं <coughs> कल परसों अल्लाह चाहे तो मैं आप उठ कर दे दूंगी वाह भला कोई बात नहीं है ऐसा काम ही क्या है अभी निपटा देते हैं पता भी तो नहीं चलता पहनने का कपड़ा या झाड़न बन चुका है समारो के बच्चे भी अच्छी तरह कपड़े पहनते होंगे अरे आना आना ओ बुद्धू वही मामी हमारा बुद्धू अरे भाई लल्लू किधर गए सर अब खड़े में ना मुंडा तक रहो जमा करो मेरे कपड़े और देखियो रह ना जाए कोई एक एक कोना देख लीजियो गलान में ढेर लगा दो सबका हिंदू तू हमारे कमरे से मेले कपड़े समेट ला दो तीन जोड़े तो चार पाए के नीचे पाला से लिपटे रखे है वो लेता ही हो और सुन वो छुट्टन या बन्नो का एक कुर्ता पास पर लिपटा कोने में रखा है और सो कमरे के जाले उतारे थे हमने वो खोलते लाइयो और ये देख हवा के घोड़े में सवारे कम वक्त पूरी बात एक मरतबा नहीं सुन लेता एक बनियान हमारा अंगेटी में रखा है फूट पूजे तो उससे हमने वो भी लेते आना क्या भाग कर जा इमामी तू बच्चों के कपड़े जमा कर हर कोना और ताक देख लीजियो ये बदमाश नहीं से नई जगह निकाल जाए कपड़े रखने की कहा गई है सबके सब वो छुट्टर अरे वो चुट्टन लीजिए मुलायदा फरमाइया आपकी सूरत अरे ये क्या कर रहा है बोलो मैं कहा जाओ घुसा था तार अपने कपड़े नए कपड़े फिर मिलेंगे पहले मेले कपड़े यहाँ ला कर रख और ये बन्नो किधर गई मैं कहता हूँ आखिर ये मन क्या हो गया तुम लोगों को यहाँ काम की सूरत देखी कि सब जानेंगे फिरा ली चलो अंदर एक कागज और पेंसिल ला कर दो हमें आखिर लिखे जाएंगे कपड़े या नहीं ललू तुम मित्रों में से मेरी चादर और कंफ्यूज लाभ निकाल लाओ तो हम 
हमेशा ही लिखे जाते हैं पकड़ी गई की हर रोज तो घर में धुलड़ मचा रहता है उसकी कमी बदल गई उसका पजामा नहीं मिलता और कहती है यू लिखे जाते हैं कपड़े यू तो लिखना आते लिखी को तो ये रोज की जिग जिग क्यों हुआ करती नहीं बनना की है मैं क्या पहली बार कपड़े ले जा रही हूँ इतनी भी पहचान नहीं क्या मुझे अहमक कहीं की कपड़ा आधार से लाते हैं हम सिलवाते हैं हम रोज बच्चों को कपड़े पहनते हुए देखते हैं हम और पहचान तुझे होगी बुंदू अरे बुंदू इधर आओ ये कमीज बनोन की है ना मालूम तो वो चुनी किसी होती है और वो ही ठीक ठीक बताएंगी वाह ये फटी पुरानी कमीज मेरी क्यों होगी छुट्टन की होगी मैं ना कहती थी और यह की बच्ची है तू इन्हें क्यों ना मालूम होगा ऊपर बदतमीज कहेगी दूसरे दो रख लूंगा मैं तू सबके कपड़े गिन ठीक सा ठीक तरह जोड़ो कौन सा ठीक है तेरा जोड़ना ठीक और हमारा जोड़ना गलत हो गया जाहिर कहेगी उठ कर दे नीचे दवाई बैठी होगी वही उनसठ है जोड़ी क्या मायने चार घंटे मोहे तो चार मालों को भी दो जोड़ी लिखवाते हैं तो ये हमारा कसूर होगा लेकर इतना वक्त उसमें दाया करवा दिया सारी उम्र कपड़े धोते गुजर गई अभी तक कपड़े गिनने का सलीका नहीं आया
Culture plays a vital role in shaping societies and individuals. It possesses the beliefs, values, customs, traditional language, art, and social norms of particular group or society. Culture plays helps present and transmit knowledge, stories, and practice from one generation to another. Our dear country, Pakistan is a rich blend of cultures. One can find different lifestyles, various languages, unique traditions, friendly and sociable people, and assorted tastes of food. When all these cultures stand as one, they make Pakistan. It's time for our another performance, and you will all feast your eyes upon a huge platter of Pakistani cultures. For this colorful and interesting performance, I would like to call the energetic eagles of culture performance. Please put your hands together for our performers. moments. For it is a magical and high okay performance, I would like to invite the mega stars of the song We Will Rock You on stage. Please welcome them with your huge, huge round of applause. Woo! Yes! 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 Yes!
One for this guy. years ago are in safe hands. Wonderful children, your ex-principal is proud of you. Can we give them a great round of applause? Choti si baat mujhe aap se karni hai. Aur woh hai ke baat apni zaman mein ki jaye to dil se dil tak jati hai. Dekhi hai. I am not a principal right now. I am a senior parent. कोई वक्त नहीं होता हम 9 से 10, 11 से 12 बच्चों की तरबियत नहीं करते बच्चे ये आज के बच्चे हैं दे आर पावर पफ्ट दे आर कंटिन्यूसली ऑब्जर्विंग यू ये आपको देख रहे हैं तो जो आप कर रहे हैं वो ये सीख रहे हैं तरबियत 24 फोर आवर्स हो रही है 24 फोर सेवन हो रही है एंड यू आर द बेस्ट रोल मॉडल्स फॉर दैम I can see the senior parents as well and I'm proud to see them. They were parents of the children who I used to teach and a wonderful experience coming back here as a guest. But we are one family united, so matter what if we are divided in four buildings. FPS rocks, Pakistan! Yeah! This is not Autobahn. I didn't leave it like that. Pakistan! Wonderful. Congratulations, Hina. Wonderful show. Thank you, parents. Fiya Manallah. Dr. Farzana, you didn't leave me. It is still connected. It is still in the hands. Thank you very much, all the parents. I would request you to please rise for the National Anthem of Pakistan. Class teachers, please mobilize. Wow, my 